Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing CAD challenge number 11, the beginner, uh, in OpenSCAD. And you can see the CAD challenge over here on Reddit. That'll be in the notes. And we're doing uh, figure A. Thank you to Quadra for providing these challenges. They're a great learning experience. So figure A you'll see is the same as what I just showed you in OpenSCAD. It's some slots, some holes, and a, a bunch of fillets. And uh, that's the challenge in open. That's a challenge in OpenSCAD because there's no built-in fillet operation. So this is our rendered final rendered version. You can see it very much resembles the challenge. And let's get started dissecting it. So to examine this, first we're going to look at the base, and I've separated each of these components into modules. So you have base and uprights and slot, so that it's easier to talk. Uh, talk about and easier to navigate. So to start out with, I'm going to hide everything but the base so we can discuss it more easily. The base is made up of uh, some very basic components. There's simply a square that matches the dimensions given in the drawing, 64 by 75, and then two circles that are offset by half of the distance between them. The drawing gives a dimension from the, the two circumferences so I added the two radiuses to get 44 of a total distance between the centers and then took half of that and translated off the X and off uh, or off, I'm sorry off of the uh, Y in both directions so the tongue was a little bit more fun because I got to use a hull and that always makes me happy so let me highlight the two pieces that comprise the hull you'll see I've got a square and a circle so to fill in this area right here that's where the hull command comes in, and you'll see when I highlight the hull command, you'll see the same shape, but with that area filled in. So now we have our tongue. So what remains of the base is just the two fillets. So to explain how I accomplish these fillets, it's not terribly difficult. I have a square with a circle removed, and then with another square removed. And let me highlight the uh, fillet so you can see what that creates is this shape here. So let's disable all three of these and add them back one at a time. So with them all disabled, you see I have my regular corner. Adding a square fills in that corner with extra material that I don't need. So now I difference a circle out of that square. So that gives me the radius I need. You'll see I've set the circle to 20 plus a little more. And I'll explain that in a minute. Now I just need to remove these three shapes. So that'll be removed by differencing out a square from this first square as well. So let's. So I've rotated it by 45 degrees to to just get rid of uh, what I want. Um, yeah, there might be a better a better shape to use, but the square seemed pretty uh, straightforward to me. And then I moved it in by half the radius to get to get it to the to this corners these corners right here. Uh, half the circle's radius or a quarter of the square. And that's how I accomplish these fillets. The next piece to add is the uprights, and you'll notice I've disabled each of these individually so we can do them one at a time. So I'm gonna enable the uprights, and you see that it calls the module there. And if we look at the module, uh, you can see it's just two, shoot, two cubes sorry, with the right dimensions. And for the height, it's the height from here to here. So the dimension given is the overall, so you have to subtract out the base. Now, if you don't want to do if you don't want to do the math prior to it, you can do the math right in the calls. So for here, as an example, the x translation. So that's the distance where these are positioned. You'll see I had to do 32 minus 12 because um, the because these cubes are not centered. The origin is here and here. So this, this one's okay, I, I translated 32, half of this overall 64 dimension, I translated 32. If I translated this one 32, it would be, let me show you, it would be at, over the edge. So if I get rid of that 12, so you see it's too far because it's translating this origin, not the center and not this one. So I need to subtract the thickness of this. So I do that right in the, call, in the, in the module call there. And that gets our uprights and uh, they're complete. The next feature to complete are the slots, and I've re-enabled it and highlighted the two cylinders I'm using to remove the material. Let's move over to the drawing, and this is what we're trying to complete. 
and you can use these measurements that's seven from the side to the to the diameter edge and seven from the top down to the edge of the diameter so to see how these work i'll just highlight the cylinder by itself so i've drawn a radius six cylinder 66 high and it needs to be a little bit taller than the material we're removing so we don't get the contention with the planes that is that is a thing in freecad so and then i rotate it on the y-axis to get it flat and then I and then I move it up and over. So I move it into its final position on the Z axis, which is up, and its final position on the X axis, which is over. And you'll see, I think I could, can I show both of them? Nope. So, so you'll see them in their final position there. And then the final thing I do is translate them back th uh, 33 units to get them in their resting place. So to join the two, um, to remove the center material, we use a hull. Let me highlight the hull so you can see what that looks like. And that's how we create our slot. The final feature of our drawing to add is the fillets. And the fillets are going to be material removed from the corners of the uprights. You can see it pictured here in the sample drawing. And I deduced from the drawing that these fillets have the radius of 12. I could be wrong on that, but I think it seems about right. So I'm going to re remove the disabling asterisk on one of the fillets so we can talk about both and how it's done. We're going to expand the fillet module and see that it's a very simple module. And what happens is, let me start by uh, just showing you the square. We start with one square and then we difference out this circle. Let me show you the difference. And, you sh and you'll see that that's the shape we re need to remove from each corner of the upright. So after we create the shape, we make an extrusion of it. So it's the full length of the two uprights. So this material will be subtracted from thin air, but each end will be subtracted from the uprights. So once we have our fillet shape, let's look at the call for the fillet shape. So first we're gonna call, the, look at this call. Oops, get rid of that. Okay. so. We've called our shape, so you'll see it's the same. So we need to lay it flat. So we're gonna rotate that in the negative direction on the y-axis, or around the y-axis, I'm sorry. So that's gonna rotate it flat to here. And you see that's the case. And then, then we wanna translate this one, um, 33 degrees positive x, and then 25 out on the y, and up on the z by about a little bit more than 44. The reason why this is these, these one one hundredths there is to remove plane contention. So you see that fillet it's in, is in its final position. Um, so we'll end up doing the same thing with this, but there's a few more rotations we have to do to get it facing the opposite direction. So with that, let's just highlight, uh, just highlight these two and show them against the rest of the module. So you see there, there are our finished fillets and re they're removing the material we need to rem th them to remove. And that's our completed module. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you try to replicate it. And you'll learn a lot about free uh, about OpenSCAD. You'll learn about um, hulls and linear extrudes, and you know um, just some good basics on how to uh, get a complete model in FreeCAD. So, you know, if you like this, please subscribe. I'll be doing more and more of these, and eventually I'll be moving into actually printing stuff and uh, real life uh, assemblies and whatnot. So um, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.